Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode. So, the last few weeks, well, it all started with a question that I saw of Einstein's, which was, do you live in a friendly or a hostile universe? And from that, I then decided to explore sort of trust. And first of all, I looked at building trust between people, between you and other people, and maybe even yourself, but I don't think I went into that. Um, but actually, the whole purpose of this exploration is going back to that original question, do we live in a hostile, a friendly or a hostile universe? And when we go back to that question, it's about trust between us and source, the universe, God, whatever it is you want to call it. Now, my life has been quite all over the place. I lived in three different continents before I was the age of three months. Uh, my parents got divorced when I was six. Um, I didn't live in any country longer than six years up until the age of, how old was I? Um, 25, 26, something like that. So, so life, wasn't very certain, it wasn't predictable, and at times it was incredibly scary. So there was a long, lot of time in my life where I didn't trust life, I didn't trust source, um, I felt that I had to protect myself and guard myself against events that might happen to me in my life. But the further along I've gone on this particular journey of becoming more consciously aware, the more important I've realised it is to trust. And I've also realised that trusting source is a lot like the relationship with people. When you see pain in life, when you see relationships go badly, and when you see people do mean things, the only reason they really do it is because they were hurt first. And there's a beautiful saying, only hurt people hurt people. And I don't remember off the top of my head who said it, but I'll put it in the show notes if I can find it, the link to whoever it was that first said it. And, and that's a little bit like what the relationship with source is except for only hurt people hurting people. It's really us, our pain, that disconnects us from source. Source is always there, it's a constant. The only time we feel that it doesn't look after us or it is untrustworthy or it's out to get us is when we allow the pain that we have inside to trigger us, to disconnect, to protect ourselves, to pull off and to be resistant to life. Looking back through life, with hopefully a more conscious perspective. The only times that I can see that I've really, really struggled is when I have believed that things were bad, when I was in resistance to life, when I was fighting something in life, when I was fighting reality, when I was cross or hurt or um, upset about something. Um, and it's interesting actually, looking back on one of the relationships I've had in my life, just watching how the similarities, there's another lovely saying, as above, so below. And so sometimes when we look at our own relationships, we can see how they mirror our relationship with source. So this particular relationship, what I've noticed now looking back, was the partner I was with used to be very controlling. And the more he would try and control me, the more I would rebel in reaction to his controlling. But now that I look back and I see it, and I hopefully see it with a lot more compassion than I had at the time, I realised that the more I rebelled, the more insecure he became and the more controlling he became. And it was a vicious cycle where our own pain, we just used it and hurt each other more and more um, throughout the relationship. And if one of us was wiser than we were at the time, which we weren't, <laughs> and was able to step out of that and break that cycle, then a whole new dynamic would have been born. When I look back, I can see that the universe was never hostile. It was only my resistance to what was happening in my world that made me think and feel that it was hostile. And this is not to say that I should be meek and mild and compliant, but there are different ways of being that aren't in resistance that can cause life to flow much more. Um, and there's actually something that I've I think touched on in another episode about holding space for your being and I'll put a link to that in the show notes. When I have been in alignment I have had the most amazing experiences filled with bliss and joy and ease 
and it's like life is carrying me along on this beautiful flow of energy where things just get resolved and there are no real challenges. However, sometimes I get a speed wobble and in those times I start mistrusting, I stop believing. And in those moments, it's as if I've put the brakes on, as if I've pressed pause and I've suddenly shuddered to a stop. And in these times, it's not the universe that is doing this to me. It is me not trusting that is causing the experience that I'm having. And it causes me to doubt, to feel unsure, to, to wonder, to question, to feel fearful and hurt. You see, the way I see it is that source is a little bit like electricity, and I think I mentioned this in the previous episode. And it's always there. It doesn't judge me. It doesn't hate me. It isn't out to get me. It doesn't care whether I do something or I don't do something. It is just pure, unconditional love and bliss. And the only thing that affects my experience of that is whether or not I am plugged into it. And every time I don't trust, every time I get fearful or hurt or doubt or scared, I pull the plug, I pull away, I unplug myself from that. That's not life or source kicking me out or teaching me a lesson. I learn the lesson because it hurts and it's uncomfortable when I'm not plugged in. But that's not life trying to make that happen to me. I cause that to happen by either being plugged in or unplugged. When you go into defensive mode, you pull your energy in, you retract, you pull away. And I've actually done an experiment with dowsing rods, um, although I don't think I've shared it publicly. It's in one of my courses um, where you can test the energy um, and you can actually physically see how when you are in a, a, a loving, open state, the energy is much bigger. And when you're fearful or mistrusting or hurtful, your energy draws in and pulls in within yourself. So learning to trust Source is learning to stay open even when things don't go according to what you think they should be doing. It's learning to trust that even if you don't know what the plan is or where the journey is taking you, it's trusting that it's taking you wherever you need to go. And I don't say this lightly, as I've said, I've had some ups and downs in my life. But another of my relationships that I just want to share with you was a really hard, challenging, incredibly tough relationship. But now, and during it, if someone had asked me if there was any purpose to this, I would never have been able to figure out why it was the way it was. But now, all these years later, looking back, I realise that that relationship was the catalyst that started me off on the journey that I'm currently on, doing what I absolutely am passionate about and what I love, and sharing what I've learned with you. At the time, I would never have believed, I, would have, I wouldn't have known to even know where this was going to take me. And I now call him my dark angel, because without him, I would never be on this path. I wouldn't be doing the things that I love. And I'm not saying it's easy to stay open when things are upsetting and hurtful, but it's learning to hold that space and to be present and just to accept. It's not even about embracing, but accepting and letting go of the resistance to whatever is going on in your life. One of the hardest things I found was when I was, I had an expectation of something turning out the way that I thought it should turn out. Something that I thought I needed on my path that was part of my journey, and then suddenly it didn't happen. Those were the hardest times for me, the hardest things to accept, and the hardest times to trust my path and source and that I was going in the right direction. Um, I remember one particular instance and for the first sort of major part of my career as a consciousness coach, what I really wanted to do was work with people in conscious leadership. And I've done it. I've done quite a lot of it. But then when I moved to the UK, that just didn't happen. And somebody had actually said to me that that was not my path. And I couldn't understand it. And I felt so hurt and let down and confused. But now... <laughs> looking back, <laughs> I realise it's part of what I do, but it isn't the, the source of what I do and where it comes from. And what I've also realised is that those expectations don't come from your truth. They come from ego. They come from you thinking that life has to be a certain way to get your human needs met. And all of that comes from your subconscious survival state of being. And, and that is not the truth of who you are. Because when you connect to the truth of who you are, you will see that it is eternal. 
It doesn't need anything to make it more and nothing can make it less. You don't need a bigger house or a nicer car. You don't need more money. You don't need anything to make you more or better or more acceptable or whatever it is than you already are. And it's hard to see that when we've come from this survival state. It's only when you can connect deep within yourself to the truth of who you are that you can suddenly see that all of that stuff, it's lovely and I'm not saying you shouldn't have it, but it doesn't make you more than you already are. And when you start living your life from that place and navigating through inspiration and intuition and trusting the source, that life suddenly takes on a much more magical quality. I choose to trust the universe, even when my life doesn't make sense. I don't manage it all the time. I do wobble. <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning and I still make mistakes and I still fall down. But deep down, I know that that's the only way that I want to live my life because anything less than that is not really truly living. So much love from me to you. And if you want to connect with me and have a look at anything else that I'm doing and find out any more resources, then you can find them on my website and the link will be in the show notes below. As I said, so much love from me to you. Bye-bye.